The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Delivering transit activated corridors has been our project for the last 18 months, building on the work we've done on trackless trams across Australia, now with a much closer focus on Perth, because this is where we are delivering the first one and there's a lot happening. So we've got a lot of interviews with people involved in this process and we've got a toolbox that's been developed by Cheryl Desher from Griffith University and that toolbox is something any practitioner or professional in this area can use to help in the process. So Cheryl will explain that on her film, but let me just quickly go through what the other films are about and how they put a package together of this multiple headed beast, which is about delivering a new transit system, which is mid-tier going across the corridors and bringing life to new stations and precincts around them that are essentially what we're trying to do, make them really good urban legacies that are net zero and full of wonderful technology and opportunities for services, affordable housing, all of the good things we're trying to do that will build up these corridors to be transit activated. What we're calling them actually is 21st Century Boulevards and that's the first of the films and it's essentially covering that idea that it goes back in history and is now coming into fruition with a new direction because the trackless tram enables it. So, and then uh, Mike Moritz is taking us along the journey of where the trackless tram would go, starting in the city of Canning and going through Curtin and out to the city centre. This is followed by a video of Dave and Anna, who are working in the city of Vincent, where Leadable Connect is. This is an organisation that's designed to bring to life the grassroots processes that enable you to partner with the local community and create a place, not just you know, a good set of technologies and buildings, but something that comes alive. And they're very good at doing that and they've helped us to understand how they went about it using parties. Marie follows this idea by showing what happened in Stirling, where they had an alliance set up with all the government departments and the local government agencies and some local community who helped to build a vision that has, in the end, created this opportunity for a trackless tram and building the city centre of Stirling. And she talks to the mayor about how that is now opening up with uh, a partnership approach. And then the fourth film is with the mayor of Stirling, which is the part that is probably going to be first with this new trackless tram and they have worked for many years on how to create this boulevard in their area. They've got a business case that they're working on now and it's likely to get started very quickly. They're helping in the trial that we're setting up to bring the tram here and he's very enthusiastic about what it's going to do for his city. Then we move into some more overseas perspectives, starting with the overseas city of Melbourne, our chair in this project, Rob Adams, formerly the urban designer for the city of Melbourne. And in that role, he was able to create a rejuvenated series of boulevards that he's now walking down and showing us how they have succeeded. And that is a very Melbourne story, but one that could really apply to any city in the world. Secondly, 
Jan Schurer, who's in Barcelona, from the, his perspective in Europe, helped to see what they are doing in these new corridors that are outside the main parts of their cities. They're in these middle and outer suburbs going around the city, connecting up new mid-tier transit and terrifically upgraded opportunities for new urban development. And that's a real insight into the future that could be coming from Europe as a, a model. And finally, in that series, Sebastian Davies Slate, who is part of this project from Perth, is talking about American cities, how they're also moving down this track towards a 21st century boulevard in cities like Seattle and Portland, and that kind of opportunity that that's creating. Particularly, it's particularly an opportunity for bringing in private sector funding, which is a partnership part of this project. Then we have some PhDs of mine, other than Sebastian, that are able to give us insight into other aspects. Firstly, with Gemma Green, who has started a business called Power Ledger, which is doing very well because they have shown how to do microgrids around new developments that can create the opportunity for a net zero precinct. And that then feeds into the opportunities created with the trackless tram of needing to be recharged and the other electromobility, things like shuttles and electric bikes and so on can also be recharged there. So this opportunity of managing it locally is what Gemma talks about. It's very smart technology, but it's also very smart governance. Then we've got Rohit Sharma, who finished his PhD on this project and how the value capture can be part of the process of creating and delivering a trackless tram corridor. He has been working in Transport for London and over there has found ways of bringing in the land development opportunities into the assessment process. Boring things like benefit cost ratios suddenly become alive with opportunities for transit because they've worked out a way to bring in these numbers and also health aspects. And finally, in that series, James McIntosh is showing us how he has been working in Sydney on these kind of problems and how it does make a difference to involve land development in the opportunity of an assessment that is very favourable. So this set of videos is something that can enable us to deliver a transit activated corridor in style with the economics worked out, with the partnerships in place, with all of the assessment processes and all of that hard bureaucracy ready to go. Uh, it can help us come to a situation where the next project of creating a net zero city is unfolding as we bring in this new opportunity of an electric transit system running down a main road and bringing to life station precincts that can move out into the surrounding suburbs as a way of bringing a completely carbon-free future. This is the next agenda and it is one we build on with these films.